Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects How-To. Performance Architects is a business and technology consulting company that helps companies initiate and sustain big changes in their performance management and business intelligence environments and process. This video along with others on our channel should help provide some additional insight as you embark on or continue along your EPM and BI journey. Head over to our channel after this video or come back in the future to learn best practices, hear overviews, and take part in lessons we have designed to help you. We are focused on continuing to develop this community and we welcome any recommendations you might have for future content. Thanks and enjoy. Fusion Middleware, its main deliverable is a J2E application that can be deployed to a J2E container such as the for Oracle Fusion Middleware. It contains mainly four components. Number one, a core rendering engine that performs cartographic rendering and a suite of APIs that allow programmable access to map viewer features. These APIs include XML, Java, PLSQL, and an AJAX-based JavaScript API. And the third one is a graphical map builder tool that enables you to create map symbols. And finally, there is an Oracle map which includes map cache and FOI. The prerequisites for the map viewer are a J2EE server like WebLogic, Oracle Client 9i or later, Java SDK 1.5 or later, and Oracle database with spatial or locator. The Oracle locator is the component of the Oracle database and Locator is actually a cut down version of the Oracle Spatial and is provided free with all standard and enterprise database editions. In this slide, uh, I'll show you how to deploy MapViewer on WebLogic. By default, MapViewer is deployed when you install OBI 11G. If not, you can deploy it on BI server using the mapviewer.ear mapviewer file, which is located at bi underscore server slash bi foundation slash jee directory. And to configure the map viewer, you need to provide the host name where the map viewer is deployed and the data source information where spatial data is located. You can do this by editing the map viewer.xml file. This can be launched using the map viewer console using the URL hostname slash map viewer. Once you log into the map viewer console, click on configuration to edit the config.xml file. Under security underscore config tags, provide the host name and IP address of where the map viewer is hosted. At the bottom of the file, add the navtech data source information by providing Oracle database login information. Then click on save and restart button to save the changes. Now in 11G R2 of the map viewer version, you can use Google Maps as a source based maps. In the map viewer console, click on manage tile layers and create. Select Google Maps as tile layer type. Select Google Maps as type of map source and then click continue. There enter key. Uh, to obtain the key uh, here, you can go to the URL that is shown in this slide and enter your website to get the key. Now the last piece is to administer the map viewer data for your subject areas. You can log into the OBIE presentation services and go to the administration and click on manage map data and there you can import the layers. Once you import the layers, you need to associate these layers with the columns from your subject areas. And once you do that, uh, you can create the map views in your analysis. This is how you create the map views in your OBIE analysis. Thank you for joining and please visit our Performance Architects How-To channel for other videos on enterprise performance management and business intelligence solutions.